This is an RCA uh, Radio Marine model ET8053 emergency lifeboat radio. Unlike the uh, emergency radios that would be normally part of the lifeboat's equipment, uh, these were uh, stowed usually in the radio shack or radio room of a ship and would be uh, taken along with the radio operator uh, when if they evacuated the ship um, under a uh, abandoned ship order. Uh, this is also different from the standard lifeboat radios in that it both transmits and receives and can be operated manually as well as automatically. It is uh, pretty much complete. Uh, I even have the tie downs uh, straps to uh, attach it to the lifeboat. Um, it has a uh, hand crank, um, a ground. You can also see there that there is a uh, telegraph key uh, right on the front of it. Um, some interesting stuff on the cover there. Do not throw set into lifeboat. Since this thing weighs between 40 and 50 pounds, and those were wooden lifeboats, that's some pretty good advice. Um, it has an earpiece, or actually a, a folding headset, headphone, that is uh, contained in that pouch, and then it has the instruction booklet. And on the inside of the um, lid are all the parts and pieces for the uh, antenna assembly. And uh, then there's also the uh, grounding strap right there that's dropped overboard to uh, get a ground. And as you can see, about the first five or so feet of that is, is corroded as well as the weight. That would indicate that this has been used at least once, uh, possibly in a drill, but who knows? I'm really not sure of its provenance. Um, I found it at a uh, 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 Army, Navy, military place out in Boring, Oregon, where there were all kinds of interesting things there, and uh, it kind of caught my eye. It also has the, uh, the factory dummy load, which comes in handy for testing it, uh, which we're going to do later on in this video here. So anyway, these were... Uh, these were probably standard equipment, I would imagine, on a lot of the ships uh, in the early 50s. And, and I think that these were actually manufactured uh, as late as the early 60s, but I'm not certain. This particular one seems to be from around the Korean War era, um, or maybe just a little bit afterwards. Okay, um, we're going to demonstrate this. It transmits on 500 kilohertz um, and also a, uh, an HF frequency, which I keep forgetting what it is, 8364 kilohertz. And so we got a couple of radios here, so you can hear the signal when it transmits. I have it set in automatic mode, and so uh, it'll take a few seconds to warm up. And then uh, we're going to hear that sound that every ship's radio operator dreaded to hear. And i got to crank it the other way because I'm behind it here. So, here goes.
Now, um, I'm not actually transmitting, at least not to where anyone would be able to hear it. I have the original test load here, and it, that light that you see on there indicates that there is RF current. And last time I checked this out, it was putting out about 25 watts.